here in Copenhagen, Denmark for UDS, and I'm here with Jonathan Riddell. Jonathan, you're with the Kubuntu Project. Yes. Can you tell people a little bit about what Kubuntu is? We're one of the various flavors of Ubuntu, and shipping with software made by the original and best free software desktop project, KDE. Now, is Kubuntu one of the earliest flavors of Ubuntu? Yes, it's the second one, just after Ubuntu Desktop uh, published their initial preview. Um, there were always plans to make a, a KDE variant of it, and um, some of us were interested and snuck in there to make sure it got done early, and uh, and so for the second Ubuntu release, we managed to have an official Kubuntu release alongside it. Now, there are some changes that Kubuntu went through in this past year um, in regards to sponsorship. Can you talk a little bit about what what changes those were and how that affected the project? Well, hopefully it's all behind the scenes, so hopefully from the point of view of any user, nothing has changed. Uh, so Canonical wanted to step back from some of their sponsorship, um, but fortunately we have many friends. And uh, when I announced that Canonical was stepping back from uh, paying supporters for, for coming to UDS and so forth, um, other people sent me lots of messages saying, well, we, we need this stuff, we, we depend upon this stuff, I've just converted my company or my school to this stuff, um, how can I help out? And so we've got now a few sponsors who are happily um, helping out by paying our way for the sort of things that we need paid for. Now, I've seen you um, now, this is, gosh, I've been coming to the UDS since Dallas. Um, ha how many have you been to UDSs? I have lost track. I think it's about seven years, so 13 maybe? You're a staple at one of these. You, you, Everyone always sees you and, and they know your IRC, Nick, and are happy to point you out because you're a wealth of information. What can you tell people about the difference between the Ubuntu desktop and the Kubuntu desktop? Like, what makes it special? What makes it, like, why would people want to use Kubuntu? Well, we like to think that one of our selling points is we like to pride ourselves on being friendly. So anybody who comes to us is, is very, very welcome and will happily receive a warm, friendly welcome. Um, in terms of the technology of it, it's, um, it's give or take. Like Some people prefer some programs over others and some people prefer to mix and so forth. Um, but in terms of the fundamental quality, if you're a programmer and you've been programming on, on Kitty and Qt, then um, in everybody's humble opinion, it's much better experience. And so we like to think that that gives a better end result. And where do you see most, like you were referring to companies and schools, um, I'm using um, Kubuntu, where do you see your biggest user group at? Is there w one area over another? Um, a well, a lot of the big rollouts have been in schools and educational places. So I got invited to the Canaria and where all their schools run uh, Kubuntu. Um, I got invited to um, a Kano in northern Nigeria where they are looking for some economic strategy. Their, their local government is wondering how they can get a competitive advantage and they were looking towards Kubuntu and, and open source in general um, to give them that economic advantage over anybody else in the world. Um, so the, there's a lot of movement from, um, from kind of government users and, and educational users, um, but of course we also have an awful lot of of individual users using it at home and installing it for their parents or their boyfriends or so forth. Um, and we see an awful lot of those. Over the years and with your involvement in Kubuntu, you've all, you're obviously very passionate about this particular um, flavor. What has been the most rewarding moment for you personally? And what do you think has been the most rewarding moment for the project overall? Well, I love building community and bringing people together. So I love these UDSs where um, where we, I've been able to, to bring together this team and, and people who I don't know and make them feel part of the, the wider project because they, 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 they feel they just do user support, they didn't do anything important. And by coming here, uh, we can make them feel that they're, that they're loved, that they're part of the team. Um, in terms of raw money, it's quite satisfying when when we're having discussion before coming to UDS and going, oh, well, how many people can we afford to sponsor? Um, how much money will it cost and so forth? And then I get an email from somebody who doesn't want to be named, but who says, well, what's your budget? And they say, oh, well, 
many a couple of thousand dollars or so and then he sends a couple of thousand dollars straight to my bank account so although it sounds crass to say so that was very satisfying because it, it shows that we have people out there who love us enough to donate large chunks of money to us which is awesome I think it's always great when when projects um, feel validated maybe they know it's important and 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 you get that satisfaction from your user base but then when something like that and you get that sponsorship or or somebody says since you know that you know sends you to an event like this or pays for you to go to an event and speak it validates all the hard work that you've put into it by an outside source you weren't expecting so that's always I don't know, that's always good to know about. It's always good to be on the receiving end of that. Um, so congratulations that, that you've moved into that, that realm. I think you've been there for a long time, um, but it's nice to hear about it as, as well. For people who want to get involved, um, how can they get involved with Kuman2? Uh, we mostly do communication over IRC because that's the most casual, friendly, uh, colloquial way. So anybody who wants to join Hashkubuntu Deval uh, is always very, very welcome to do so. Um, of course, we have mailing lists and so forth as well, um, and we get people. We get a lot of people coming in saying, uh, "How can I help out?" And then, because we, they don't get a quick answer, they go away. So make sure you stay around so that um, until somebody is able to find a job for you, and, and chances are that will be happen sooner rather than later. It, so, how is the how is Cuban too structured as a community? We like to think of ourselves as a nice egalitarian uh, community. We don't have a leader. We don't have um, somebody with definite powers of yes, no. And we're able to do that because we are all fairly agreed on our goal. We want to make a fun, awesome operating system for laptops and their tablets as well. And uh, and so we have a Kubuntu Council, and they've been constituted because uh, we need to we need to have some sort of legal entity these days now that we're handling a bit of money. Um, and they they have a system to vote on things if ever they need to, but I tend to think that whenever we have to vote on something, that's a bit of a failure because that shows that there's some disagreement and we haven't come to um, the, we haven't come to find the right way to do things. Um, and I would say that we that happens very rarely that we, for the most part, we can debate and discuss the pros and cons of some issue and then find the right way and do it. Because Kubuntu came about after Ubuntu, and you know Ubuntu came on the scene, when you really look at Linux as a whole, um, it's relatively still in its infancy um, as, as a whole. How did you find your way to where you like? How, how did you enter the world of open source and and get involved with? You know, from how did you go from getting involved into some open source distribution to now um, working on Kubuntu full time? Well, the best way to get into open source development is at least for me, was at university, and the best way to learn computer programming in general is to look at open source software, because you can see all the slides that lecturers show you, and you can read all the books, but until you actually look at real code in the world and, and work out how to solve real problems, um, you're not really a programmer. Um, so the, it, it was the best training to become a, a computer developer. Um, and I tended to find KDE as the best platform, because Qt's an awesome toolkit and KDE is an awesome community and uh, so I was working on all of that and then when I heard about this rich bloke from South Africa who was setting up a, a distribution I um, sent out some feelers to make sure that we could get a KDE variant of it and so that came together quite nicely and I've been working for Canonical for um, about six years or so uh, because they they wanted to sponsor the KDE variant, uh, but then they made that post redundant. But fortunately, we have nice new sponsors. So now I'm working on with Blue Systems doing much the same thing. I think it's all exciting to watch, you know, the the ebb and flow of of all the different flavors. Um, and Kubuntu certainly, uh, because it's one of the older flavors, um, certain certainly has its time in the spotlight, which is amazing. Um, what would you like people to know? about Kubuntu that I haven't asked you about? Well, I've got a bit of an exclusive for you, but it's kind of secret, so it's just between you and me, Amber. Okay. We're going to relaunch our commercial support service. Um, so for the last six months, there's been a company who wants to provide commercial support service for uh, Kubuntu, which Canonical dropped, and they've been in discussions with Canonical, which has been very, very slow and painful. But in the last day, um, they've managed to come to an agreement for the trademark um, 
over being the official support partner, and so that will be launched within the next couple of months. That is exciting news. It is. And I hope once it launches, um, you'll shoot me an email and we can sit down over a hangout and talk about this a little bit more. I'd love to. Great. Thank you so much for sitting down and talking to me. I look forward to hearing that more people have joined the project, seeing how you grow, seeing how your commercial side grows, and um, seeing you at the next UDS. Great. Thanks very much.